Fiat SPA, Fiat SPA, or Fabbrica Italiana Automobili Torino, was an Italian holding company whose original and core activities were in the automotive industry, and that was succeeded by Fiat Chrysler Automobiles NV. The Fiat Group contained many brands such as Ferrari, Maserati, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, the Chrysler Group, and many more. On January 29, 2014, it was announced that Fiat SPA was to be merged into a new Netherlands-based holding company Fiat Chrysler Automobiles NV, taking place before the end of 2014. Fiat Chrysler Automobiles became the new owner of Fiat Group. On August 1, 2014, Fiat SPA received necessary shareholder approval to proceed with the merger. The merger became effective October 12, 2014. Fiat was founded in 1899 by a group of investors, including Giovanni Agnelli. During its more than century-long history, Fiat has also manufactured railway engines and carriages, military vehicles, farm tractors, and aircraft. In 2013, Fiat was the second-largest European automaker by volumes produced, and the seventh in the world ahead of Honda, PSA Peugeot Citroën, Suzuki, Renault, and Daimler AG. Over the years, Fiat has acquired numerous other automakers, it acquired Lancia in 1968 became a shareholder of Ferrari in 1969, took control of Alfa Romeo from the Italian government in 1986, purchased Maserati in 1993, and became the full owner of Chrysler Group LLC in 2014. Fiat Group currently produces vehicles under 12 brands, Abarth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Dodge, Ferrari, Fiat, Fiat Professional, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, Ram Trucks, and SRT. In 1970, Fiat employed more than 100,000 in Italy when its production reached the highest number, 1.4 million cars, in that country. As of 2002, Fiat built more than 1 million vehicles at six plants in Italy and the country accounted for more than a third of the company's revenue. Fiat brand cars are built in several locations around the world. Outside Italy, the largest country of production is Brazil, where the Fiat brand is the market leader. The group also has factories in Argentina. Poland and Mexico and a long history of licensing manufacture of its products in other countries. It also has numerous alliances and joint ventures around the world, the main ones being located in Serbia, France, Turkey, India, and China. Gianni Agnelli, the grandson of founder Giovanni Agnelli, was Fiat's chairman from 1966 until 1996. He then served as honorary chairman from 1996 until his death on January 24, 2003 during which time Cesar Ramiti served as chairman. He was succeeded briefly by Paolo Fresco, who served as chairman, and Paolo Cantarella, as CEO. Umberto Agnelli then took over as chairman from 2003 to 2004. After Umberto Agnelli's death on May 28, 2004, Luca Cordero di Montesemolo was named chairman, with Agnelli heir John Elkin becoming vice chairman, and other family members also serving on the board. On June 1, 2004, Giuseppe Marchio was replaced by Sergio Marchione as CEO. Giovanni Agnelli, with several investors, founded the Fabbrica Italiana Automobili Torino Società Perizioni, Italian Automobile Factory of Turin, in 1899. Its acronymous name was changed to Upper and Lower Case Fiat in 1906. Agnelli led the company until his death in 1945, while Vittorio Valletta administered the firm's daily activities. Its first car the 3.5 CV strongly resembled contemporary Benz, and had a boxer twin engine. In 1903, Fiat produced its first truck. In 1908, the first Fiat was exported to the U.S. That same year, the first Fiat aircraft engine was produced. Also around the same time, Fiat taxis became popular in Europe. By 1910, Fiat was the largest automotive company in Italy, a position it has retained since. That same year, a new plant was built in Poughkeepsie, NY, by the newly founded American FIAT Automobile Company. Owning a Fiat at that time was a sign of distinction. The cost of a Fiat in the U.S. was initially $4,000 and rose up to $6,400 in 1918, compared to $825 for a Ford Model T in 1908, and $525 in 1918, respectively. During World War I, Fiat had to devote all of its factories to supplying the Allies with aircraft, engines, machine guns, trucks, and ambulances. Upon the entry of the U.S. into the war in 1917, the factory was shut down as U.S. regulations became too burdensome. After the war, 
Fiat introduced its first tractor, the 702. By the early 1920s, Fiat had a market share in Italy at 80%. In 1921, workers seized Fiat's plants and hoisted the red flag of communism over them. Agnelli responded by quitting the company. However, the Italian Socialist Party and its ally organization, the Italian General Confederation of Labor, in an effort to effect a compromise with the centrist parties ordered the occupation ended. In 1922, Fiat began to build the famous Lingato car factory, then the largest in Europe, which opened in 1923. It was the first Fiat factory to use assembly lines. By 1925, Fiat controlled 87% of the Italian car market. In 1928, with the 509, Fiat included insurance in the purchase price. Fiat made military machinery and vehicles during World War II for the Army and Regia Aeronautica and later for the Germans. Fiat made obsolete fighter aircraft like the biplane CR.42, which was one of the most common Italian aircraft, along with Savoy Marchettis, as well as light tanks and armored vehicles. The best Fiat aircraft was the G.55 fighter, which arrived too late and in too limited numbers. In 1945, the year Mussolini was overthrown, the National Liberation Committee removed the Agnelli family from leadership roles in Fiat because of its ties to Mussolini's government. These were not returned until 1963, when Giovanni's grandson, Gianni, took over as general manager until 1966, as chairman until 1996. Among the younger Agnelli's first steps after gaining control of Fiat was a massive reorganization of the company management, which had previously been highly centralized, with little provision for the delegation of authority and decision-making. Such a system was effective in the past, but lacked the responsiveness and flexibility needed by Fiat's steady expansion, and the growth of its international operations in the 1960s. The company was reorganized on a product-line basis, with two main product groups one for passenger cars, the other for trucks and tractors, and a number of semi-independent division and subsidiaries. Top management, freed from responsibility for day-by-day -day operations of the company, was able to devote its efforts to more far-reaching goals. In 1967, Fiat made its first acquisition when it purchased Autobianchi, with sales amounting to $1.7 billion, it outstripped Volkswagen, its main European competitor and in 1968 produced 1,750,000 vehicles while its sales volume climbed to $2.1 billion. According to Newsweek in 1968, Fiat was the most dynamic automaker in Europe. And, may come closest to challenging the worldwide supremacy of Detroit. Then, in 1969, it purchased controlling interests in Ferrari on Lancia. At the time, Fiat was a conglomerate, owning all Italia, toll highways, a typewriter and office machine manufacturer, electronics and electrical equipment firms, a paint company, a civil engineering firm, and an international construction company. Following up on an agreement Valletta had made with Soviet officials in 1966, Agnelli constructed the Avtovaz plant in the new city of Togola Tigrad on the Volga. This began operation in 1970, producing a local version of the Fiat 124 as the Lada. On his initiative, Fiat automobile and truck plants were also constructed in industrial centers of Yugoslavia, Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania. In 1973, Fiat established Kamau, an industrial automation company out of the various suppliers which had equipped the Avtovaz plant in Russia. Kamau became an industry pioneer in the use of robotics for vehicle assembly, a technology with which Fiat would become synonymous for in the 1970s, with its Robigat system for body shell manufacture and the later fire family of robot-assembled engines in the 1980s. Despite offering a relatively competitive range of cars, Fiat was not immune from the financial pressures that the auto industry confronted following the 1973 oil price shock. Towards the end of 1976 it was announced that the Libyan government was to take a 9.6% shareholding in the company in return for a capital injection worth an equivalent of £250 million. The size of the Libyan investment is apparent when it is compared to the £310 million IMF loan that the Italian government was trying to negotiate at the time. Other aspects of the Libyan agreement included the construction of a truck and bus plant at Tripoli. Chairman Agnelli candidly described the deal as a classic petro money recycling operation which will strengthen the Italian reserves, provide Fiat with fresh capital, and give the group greater tranquility in which to carry out its investment programs. Equally noteworthy was the fact that despite the dilutive effect of the Libyan investment on existing shareholders, the company's largest shareholder, 
the Agnelli family, retained a 30% stake in the recapitalized business. In 1979, the company became a holding company when it spun off its various businesses into autonomous companies, one of them being Fiat Auto. That same year, sales reached an all time high in the U.S., corresponding to the Iranian oil prices. However, when gas prices fell again after 1981, Americans began purchasing sport utility vehicles, minivans, and pickup trucks in larger numbers. Also, Japanese automakers had been taking an ever larger share of the car market, increasing at more than half a percent a year. Consequently, in 1984, Fiat and Lancia withdrew from the United States market. In 1989, it did the same in the Australian market, although it remained in New Zealand. In 1986, Fiat acquired Alfa Romeo from the Italian government. Also, in 1986 15% of Fiat company stock was still owned by Libya, an investment dating back to the mid-70s. U.S. foreign policy under President Reagan's administration canceled the Pentagon contract to produce earth movers with Fiat and pressured the company into brokering a buyout of the Libyan investment. In 1992, two top corporate officials in the Fiat group were arrested for political corruption. Ref name equals query. Nytimes.com slash GST slash ref a year later. Fiat acquired Maserati. In 1995 Alfa Romeo exited the U.S. market. Maserati re-entered the U.S. market under Fiat in 2002. Since then, Maserati sales there have been increasing briskly. Paolo Fresco became chairman of Fiat in 1998 with the hope that the veteran of General Electric would bring more emphasis on shareholder value to Fiat. By the time he took power, Fiat's market share in Italy had fallen to 41% from around 62% in 1984. However, a Jack Welch-like management style would be much harsher than that used by the Italians. Instead, Fresco focused on offering more incentives for good performance, including compensation using stock options for top and middle management. However, his efforts were frustrated by union objections. Unions insisted that pay raises be set by length of tenure, rather than performance. Another conflict was over his preference for informality. He often referred to other managers by their first name although company tradition obliged one to refer to others using their titles. The CEO of the company, Paolo Cantarella, ran the day-to-day -day affairs of the company, while Fresco determined company strategy and especially acted as a negotiator for the company. In 1999, Fiat formed CNH Global by merging New Holland NV and Case Corporation. In 2003, Fiat shed its insurance sector, which it was operating through Toro Asicarazioni to the D'Agostini Group. In the same year, Fiat sold its aviation business, Fiat Avio to Avio Holding. In February 2004, the company sold its interest in Fiat Engineering, as well as its stake in Edison. Sergio Marchione was appointed CEO of Fiat in 2004 and initially he impressed investors. At the end of the 2005 financial year, the company saw its first profit in 17 quarters of 196 million euros for the first nine months of FY 2006. Marchione reduced Fiat's managerial bureaucracy refocused the business on markets and profit. While chairman, Luca di Montesemolo, dealt with politicians and unions, Marchione rebuilt the car business. The success of the Grand Punto model was in large part responsible for the turnaround in Fiat's fortunes, but the award-winning 500 cemented it. Fiat formed a joint venture with India's Tata Motors, which has subsequently ended, and with China's Cherry Motors which didn't conclude. In 2005 Fiat courted Ford, and returned to China with a joint venture GAC Fiat created in 2010. Under Marchione Fiat also re-entered several large markets that it had exited years before, such as Mexico and Australia. In December 2008, Marchione announced Fiat had to become one of the top five automakers to survive in the long run. Under Marchione's leadership, Fiat returned to Canadian and American markets with a new 500. However, since 2009, Marchione has presided over a business that has experienced a loss in European market share from 9.3 to 6.2 percent. In December 2013, Marchione announced that he intended to discontinue the Grand Punto so that the company could focus on cool, high-margin Fiat 500 variants and the Fiat Panda. In 2010, John Elkin became the chairman of Fiat Spa and shareholders approved a plan to demerger Fiat's capital goods businesses. Agricultural and construction equipment manufacturer CNH Global NV, truckmaker Iveco, and the industrial and marine division of Fiat Powertrain Technologies where he spun off into a new group on January 1, 2011.
The parent company, Fiat Industrial SPA, was listed on the Milan Stock Exchange on January 3, 2011. In 2010, credit rating agency Fitch cut Fiat's debt rating to BB after it had accumulated a debt of around. In 2013, Fiat's debt rating was cut again, this time by Moody's, to BA3 over concerns European demand was lower and debt was falling slower than expected. The Financial Times estimate of Fiat's debt at the time was almost. On January 20, 2009, Fiat SPA and Chrysler LLC announced their intention to form a global alliance. Under the terms of the agreement, Fiat would take a 20% stake in Chrysler and gain access to its North American distribution network in exchange for providing Chrysler with technology and platforms to build smaller, more fuel-efficient vehicles in the U.S. and providing reciprocal access to Fiat's global distribution network. Ref name equals autonews.com slash slash ref ref name equals italiasp.com slash 2009 slash ref agreements were signed on April 30, 2009 with Fiat's future shareholding capped at 49% until all government loans had been repaid. Ref name equals fiatgroup.com slash ns slash media center slash ref. In addition, the proposed agreement would entitle Fiat to receive a further 15% through the achievement of specific product and commercial objectives. No cash or financial support was required from Fiat under the agreement. Instead it would obtain its stake mainly in exchange for covering the cost of retooling a Chrysler plant to produce one or more Fiat models for in the U.S. Fiat would also provide engine and transmission technology to enable Chrysler to introduce smaller, fuel-efficient models in the NAFTA market. The deal was engineered by Fiat chief Sergio Marchione. The principal objective of the partnership was to provide both groups with significantly enhanced economies of scale and geographical reach at a time when they were struggling to compete with larger and more global rivals such as Toyota, Volkswagen and alliance partners Renault SA and Nissan. Fiat would not have to pay any money for its 20% of Chrysler. On June 7, 2009, the Indiana State Police Pension Fund, the Indiana Teachers Retirement Fund, and the state's major moves construction fund asked the U.S. Supreme Court to delay the sale of Chrysler to Fiat while they challenged the deal. The funds argued that the sale went against U.S. bankruptcy law because it unlawfully rewarded unsecured creditors ahead of secured creditors. On June 9, 2009, the Supreme Court lifted the temporary hold, clearing the way for Fiat to acquire Chrysler. Ref name equals online.wsj.com slash article slash ref C Indiana State Police Pension Trust B. Chrysler for more information. On 10th of June, the Supreme Court announced that Fiat was now an owner of the new Chrysler aka Chrysler Group LLC. Marchione was appointed CEO of Chrysler following its emergence from bankruptcy proceedings. Under his leadership, Chrysler has taken on a structure similar to that of Fiat and has released, in quick succession, a large number of completely redesigned or refreshed vehicles. Fiat launched its 500, which had been available in Europe since 2007, in the United States and Canada in 2011, marking the company's return to the American auto market, which it had been absent from since 1984. Prior to this, Fiat's main presence on the continent was Mexico, where it offers a greater variety of products than in the United States and Canada. On January 10, 2011, Fiat announced that it had increased its share in Chrysler from 20% to 25% following the achievement of the first of three performance objectives. On April 11, 2011, it announced achievement of the second performance objective, increasing its stake a further 5% to 30%. On May 24, 2011, Fiat announced that it had paid Chrysler 1,268 million U.S. dollars for a further 16% interest, increasing its stake total stake to 46%. The transaction coincided with Chrysler refinancing its debt to the U.S. and Canadian governments. On 25 May Autonews.com reported that Fiat could buy government stakes in Chrysler as soon as the end of July 2011, increasing its total stake to 54%. In May 2011, it emerged that Fiat could actually increase its stake in Chrysler Group to more than 70% through the exercise of further options. In a regulatory filing dated July 22, 2011, the Michigan-based automaker reported that Fiat held a 53.5% interest. Fiat and Chrysler have both stated that they expect that interest to reach 58.5% by the end of 2011 as a result of achievement of the third of the three performance objectives. On January 5, 2012 Fiat released press info that the ownership has increased to 58.5%. The stake was further increased to 68.49% in July 2013. On January 1, 2014, 
Fiat announced it would be acquiring the remaining shares of Chrysler owned by the Viva worth $3.65 billion. The deal was completed by 21 January. On January 29, 2014, it was announced that Fiat SPA would be merged into a new company, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles NV, incorporated in the Netherlands with tax domicile in the UK. Fiat Chrysler Automobiles will become the owner of Fiat Group. On August 1, 2014, Fiat SPA received necessary shareholder approval to proceed with the merger. FCA will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange with an additional listing on the Mercado Telematico Accionario in Milan to follow. The group's activities were initially focused on the industrial production of cars, industrial and agricultural vehicles. Over time it has diversified into many other fields, and the group now has activities in a wide range of sectors in industry and financial services. It is Italy's largest industrial concern. It also has significant worldwide operations, operating in 61 countries with 1,063 companies that employ over 223,000 people, 111,000 of whom are outside Italy. Fiat's main shareholders include 30.1% by Exor SPA, 24.9% by EU institutional investors, 11.2% by outside EU institutional investors and 2.6% by Bailey Gifford & Company, a Scottish investment management company. Fiat's principal operating subsidiaries include, Fiat Group Automobiles SPA, Chrysler Group LLC, Fiat Auto Move ICE, SA, FGA Capital SPA, Ferrari SPA, Maserati SPA, Magneti Mirelli SPA, Texit SPA, Camo SPA, Ida di Italiano Edizioni SPA. Fiat has undertaken numerous joint ventures and alliances. Commencing in 1978, the Type 4 platform was an alliance between Alfa Romeo, Fiat, Lancia and Saab and resulting in a range of cars on sale in the mid-1980s. In 2000 a number of joint ventures were established with General Motors following GM buying 20% of Fiat while Fiat bought 6% of GM complications with the relationship saw these JVs being wound back by 2005. Resulting projects included the GM Fiat small platform and Fiat GM powertrain. In 2005, Fiat formed an alliance with Ford to create a new small car, resulting in the Fiat 500 and Ford Kansas. In 2012, Fiat formed an alliance with Mazda to develop and build a new rear-wheel drive roadster for the Alfa Romeo and Mazda brands. For Fiat-branded cars see Fiat Automobiles. Fiat is the largest vehicle manufacturer in Italy, with cars ranging from small Fiat city cars to sports cars made by Ferrari, and vans and trucks such as the Ducato. Besides Fiat Group Automobiles SPA, Fiat Group Automotive Companies include Chrysler Group LLC and Maserati SPA. The Fiat Group Automobiles SPA companies include Abarth and C. SPA, Alfa Romeo Automobiles SPA, Fiat Automobiles SPA, Fiat Professional and Lancia Automobiles SPA. Ferrari SPA is 90% owned by the Fiat Group. The company also owns Autobianchi but the mark has been dormant since 1995, and Innocenti, which ceased production in 1996. The European Car of the Year Award, Europe's premier automotive trophy for the past 50 years, has been awarded 12 times to the Fiat Group, more than any other manufacturer, most recently with the Fiat 500 in 2008. Ref name equals telegraph.co.uk slash motoring slash ref. Previous Fiat Group models which have won European Car of the Year, Fiat 124, Fiat 128, Fiat 127, Lancia Delta, Fiat Tuno, Fiat Tipo, Fiat Punto, Fiat Bravo slash Brava, Alfa Romeo 156, Alfa Romeo 147 and the Fiat Panda. For Fiat branded trucks and buses from 1903 to 1975, see Fiat Industrial Vehicles. Iveco, Fiat's former truck, bus and specialty vehicles business unit, was demerged into Fiat Industrial at the beginning of 2011. On April 17, 2007, Fiat Automobiles Light Commercial Vehicle Unit Fiat Bakley Commercial I was rebranded as Fiat Professional. Some of Fiat's light commercial vehicle products include the Fiat Ducato, Fiat Scudo, and Fiat Doblo Cargo. For Fiat branded agricultural and construction equipments from 1917 to 1991, see Fiat Trattorian from 1992 to 2014, see CNH Global. The major Italian component maker Magneti Marelli is owned by Fiat and it in turn owns other brands such as Al Automotive Lighting, Carello, Cromadora, Cofap, 
Ergam Automotive, Jaeger, Mako Electric, Paraflu, SEMA, Seam Spa, Solex, Villa Berletti, Vitaloni, and Weber. Fiat owns Texan SBA, the largest iron foundry group in the world with a production capacity of approximately 600,000 tons annually. The company was established in December 1978 and designs and produces cylinder blocks, cylinder heads, exhaust manifolds, drive shafts, camshafts and other components for automobiles and commercial vehicles. Texed, which is specialized in casting and processing iron, has plants in France, Portugal, Poland, Brazil, Mexico, and China. Since 2007, Texed SPA runs also Texed Aluminum SRL a company specialized in casting and producing auto components from aluminum alloys. Production systems are made mainly through Kamau SBA, which bought the American Pico, Renault Automation and Siaki and produces industrial automation systems. In the 1970s and 1980s, the company became a pioneer in the use of industrial robotics for the assembly of motor vehicles. Fiat assembly plants are among the best automated and advanced in the world. An insurance company, Toro Asicarazioni allowed Fiat to control a relevant part of this market and to interact with some associated banks. Doro Asicarazioni was acquired by the giant insurance company Asicarazioni Generali and is no longer part of the Fiat Group. Ingest facility and Fiat engineering work in various fields of construction, while IP is a mediation company that also deals with the management of real estate properties. Fiat Group is present in IT fields and in communications with ICT Information and Communication Technology, Global Value, Teleclient, London, and Atlanta. Fiat Group also has interests in several major publishing houses in national and local newspapers, such as La Stampa, Idity, and Italiana Edizioni. A specialized advertising space reseller is Public Compass. Supported by the Consorzio Fiat Media Center. Fiat is also has one of the largest shareholdings in RCS Media Group. Fiat Gesco, Key Consulting, Saudi Custom Services, Easy Drive, RM Risk Management, and Servizio di Toli are minor companies that work for public services, delivering services in economics and financial fields. Other activities include industrial securitization, treasury, Fiat Information and Communication Services. Fiat supports the Fondazione Giovanni Agnelli, an important foundation for social and economic research. Palazzo Grassi, a well-known historic building in Venice, now a museum and formerly supported by Fiat, was eventually sold to the French businessman Francois Pinault in January 2005. Fiat, as Fiat Aviazioni, was an important aircraft manufacturer, focused mainly on military aviation. After World War I, Fiat consolidated several Italian small aircraft manufacturers, like Pomolio and Ansaldo. Most famous were Fiat biplane fighter aircraft of the 1930s, Fiat CR.32 and Fiat CR.42. Other notable designs were fighter CR.20, G.50, G.55 and the bomber, the Fiat BR.20. In the 1950s, the company designed the G.91 light ground attack plane. In 1969, Fiat Aviazione merged with Airfer to create Air Italia. In 1959, Piaggio came under the control of the Agnelli family. In 1964, the Aeronautical and Motorcycle Division split to become independent companies. The Aeronautical Division was named I am Rinaldo Piaggio. Today, the Aeronautical Company Piaggio Aero is controlled by the family of Piero Ferrari, which also holds 10% of the carmaker Ferrari. The Motorcycle Division, Vespa, thrived until 1992. When Giovanni Alberto Agnelli became CEO but Agnelli was already suffering from cancer, and died in 1997. In 1999, Morgan Grenfell Private Equity acquired Piaggio. Fiat built artillery tractors for the French and Italian armies in World War I. Società Anonima Fabrica Army Torino was a wholly owned subsidiary of Fiat in the 1930s, designing and manufacturing weapons for the Italian armed forces. After losing a competition to produce a series of new machine guns for the Reggie Aeronautica, Seifat was sold to the winning competitor, Società Italiana Ernesto Breda, forming Breda Seifat. Fiat Ferroviaria's history goes back to before World War II, when Fiat provided motive power used for both diesel and electric locomotives and railcars not only in Italy, but other parts of Europe, and in South America. Fiat produced, among the rest, the successful Pendolino tilting trains, 
the first working prototype four-car set being run in the mid-1970s. Fiat Ferroviaria was later sold to Alstom in the middle 1990s. The Fiat Group owned the Sestriere skiing facilities. The village in the Alps is a creation of the Agnelli family. The Sestriere skiing facilities were sold by the group in 2006. See List of Fiat Group Assembly Sites Fiat was a key player in developing motor industries for a number of countries from the 1950s, particularly in Eastern Europe, Spain, Egypt, Ethiopia, and Turkey. The Autovaz state works a lot of products in Tilyati, Russia, were Fiat-based, as were seed products of Spain. Lada is now controlled by Renault, and seat by Volkswagen. A small number of Fiats were built in Bulgaria. Among Fiat's earliest foreign assembly plants Wasson in Poughkeepsie, New York, between 1910 and 1913. The building is now part of the Marist College campus. Fiat Automobiles SA, a subsidiary of Fiat SBA, began making automobiles in Brazil in 1976 beginning with the production of the Fiat 147, the Brazilian version of the Italian Fiat 127, produced until 1986. More than 10 million units have been produced in Fiat Automobiles factory in Bechim since 1976 plus 232,807 units in the Fiat Argentina plant of Córdoba. The original factory, located in the city of Belo Horizonte, cost $250 million to build. The state of Minas Gerais had a 10 to 20% stake in the company and also provided special economic benefits to Fiat. Launched in July 1979, the 147 was the first mass-produced car that ran on ethanol as fuel instead of petrol. The performance slightly increased and fuel consumption was 30% higher but the cost of the alcohol was a quarter of the gasoline because, at that time, petrol had become expensive as a consequence of the 1979 oil prices. This version was nicknamed Cachachinha because it had the scent of that Brazilian drink. In October 1984 Fiat Automovice introduced the Fiat Uno, which continued on sale until the end of 2013 as the renamed Fiat Mill resulting in total production of 3.6 million vehicles. Production of the Fiat Palio World Car began in 1996. After the successful 2003 introduction of flexible fuel vehicles in the Brazilian market, Fiat Automovice launched its first flex model in March 2004, the Fiat Palio, followed by the Siena and Palio Weekend. Fiat sold 665,514 vehicles in Brazil in 2008, allowing the carmaker to continue as the market leader for seven years in a row. Flex-fuel automobiles represented almost 100% of the car sales in 2008, and 92% of all light-duty trucks sold. In 2006 Fiat introduced the Fiat Siena Tetrafuel, a four-fuel car developed under Magneti Marelli of Fiat Brazil. This automobile can run as a flex fuel on 100% ethanol, or on E20 E25 blend, Brazil's normal ethanol gasoline blend, on pure gasoline, or just on natural gas. The Siena Tetrafuel was engineered to switch from any gasoline ethanol blend to CN automatically, depending on the power required by road conditions. Fiat has been present in Argentina since the beginning of the 20th century. There was a Fiat manufacturing plant in Córdoba at least as far back as 1954 when Fiat entered into a joint venture with two local companies to manufacture tractors. The company was known as Fiat Concord until 1980. In 1959 the construction of a car plant in Caseros was approved, and 1960 saw the production there of the first Argentinian-produced Fiat passenger car, a Fiat 600. After the Fiat 1100 export and after in 1963 the Fiat 1500. In 1977 appears the Fiat 133, just a rebadged seat 133 but made in Argentina. By 1978, a car manufacturing facility was well established in Cordoba, producing Fiat 128s as well as two models, which from the Italian perspective belong to in earlier decades, the 125 and the 600 R. In 1980, a joint venture with PSA called Seville Argentina SA was begun, which lasted until 1995. The current-day automobile manufacturing started with a new factory opened in Córdoba on December 20, 1996. From April 1997 the Siena and Palio models production started. Production was suspended in the early 2000s as the Argentinian economy went downhill. In 2008 Fiat invested new money in the production of Fiat Siena Saloon and the Fiat Palio was started. In October 2009, 
a Fiat Sienna HLX becomes the 2 million unit produced by Fiat in Argentina. The Fiat Auto Argentina SA is Fiat SPA owned company. Ref name equals Reuters.com slash article slash ref. Its first enterprise came in 1955, when it agreed to a deal with Yugoslav carmaker Zastava to assemble Fiats for Eastern Europe. The first cars produced by Zastava were its versions of the Fiat 1300 and Fiat 1400. By 1970, Zastava was producing parts for the newer Fiat 124 and Fiat 125 models, which were assembled in Poland. The Zastava 750, launched in 1962, was Zastava's version of the iconic Fiat 600 minicar. It outlived the car on which it was based, with production lasting until 1981. Zastavas were not popular outside of Eastern Europe before the 1980s, although they were exported to the U.S. and several European countries under the Yugo brand during the 1980s. The most famous product launched by Zastava is the Zastava 101, a front-wheel drive car based on the Fiat 128, also available as a hatchback version never sold in Italy. With the demise of the Zastava 750 in 1981, the minicar gap in the Zastava range was filled by the Zastava Coral which was best known in Britain and America as the Yugo Tempo or Yugo 4555. It was based on the 1971 Fiat 127, which was due to be replaced by the Fiat Uno in 1983. Hostility towards Yugoslavia in the wake of the 1992 civil unrest saw a swift ending of imports to both Britain and America. The Zastava factory in Kragujevac was later bombed, but was rebuilt after the war ended, and production continued at another factory in Kragujevac. In 1987, Zastava came up with a new car design. The Zastava Florida, known in other markets as the Yugosana, was styled by Gugetto Gijero at the Aitol Design Studio, featured a range of refined Peugeot engines. Sales continued in its homeland, with an update at the end of the 1990s. Zastava did not launch another new car for another 16 years. The 2003 Zastava 10 model was another Fiat design, this time the second generation Punto and in 2009 was renamed Fiat Punto Classic. A new memorandum of understanding between Fiat and the Serb Ministry of Economic and Regional Development about the acquisition of Zastava's Krajevac plant in 2008 led to a new company being set up in which the Italians would have a 70% stake and the Serb government 30%. Ref name equals Forbes.com slash Fiat slash Ref. The factory was renamed from Zastava Automobili Serbia to Fiat Automobili Serbia. In 2010 and 2011, FAS underwent large-scale reconstruction for production of the Fiat 500 liters in 2012. Fiat automobiles had been made in Poland since 1920. In 1932, the Polskie Zakladi in started the production of Fiat 508, produced until 1939 also as a military vehicle. In 1936 the license was extended to include the Fiat 518 model. In 1965, the Polish Communist government signed a deal with Fiat to produce selected Fiat models in Poland at the FSO factory in Warsaw that had been built in 1951. Production of the new car, the Polski Fiat 125P, began in 1967. It was visually identical to the Fiat 125, but it made use of older Fiat mechanicals which dated back to 1960. The car sold well in its homeland and was soon exported to Western Europe. 1978 saw the appearance of a new five-door hatchback, the FSO Polones, that made use of Fiat 125P running gear. After 1982, Fiat withdrew its license, since then FSO badge was reinstated with the Polski Fiat 125 surviving until 1991, and the Polones production ending in 2002. FSO was taken over by Daewoo of South Korea in 1995, and become independent again in late 2000 after Daewoo went bankrupt and was taken over by General Motors. Fabrica Samakoto Malalitrazo which in Bielsko Biała and Tiki was a joint venture between FSO and Fiat, and manufactured the Fiat 126 in 1973 and the Cinquecento in 1991. In 1992 Fiat owned 90% of FSM and since then it produced Cinquecento, Uno, Seicento. Siena and Paio weekend models with a capacity up to 200.000 cars a year. In 2003, FSM became the sole producer of Fiat Panda, and in 2007, the Fiat 500 and its related Ford Ka capacity was increased with production reaching over 600,000 in 2009, but dropped below 300,000 in 2013, resulting in the workforce being cut by a third. In 1966, 
Fiat helped USSR state industries build a new car factory on the Volga River. A planned city called Tulyadi was developed around the factory, which started producing a people's car similar to the Volkswagen Beetle and Citroën 2 CV of Germany and France. The new Soviet car, called the Lada, was a more spacious offering, in four-door saloon and five-door estate variants. Fiat installed British machine tools supplied by Herbert VSA of Birmingham for the manufacture of many Lada parts. The 124's design was mechanically upgraded to survive treacherous Russian driving conditions and extremely cold winters. Imports to Western Europe, Canada, and some third world countries sold well owing to their low price. This car was upgraded to become the Lada Riva in 1980. Lada has gone on to develop some of its own models. The four-wheel drive Lada Neva uses some Fiat-based components, for example engine and gearbox, but the body and four-wheel drive system are Vaz designs. 1967-1971 produce Pirin Fiat in Lovech, Bulgaria. Tofus is joint venture owned by Fiat Spa and Koch Holding. The Fiat 124 was produced under license by Tofus as the Tofus Morat. This was replaced by a version of the Fiat 131, known as the Tofus Shaheen. Today, the Fiat Lean Ayakar is amongst those manufactured by the Fiat Tofus joint venture in Turkey, and the company has 12.1% of the Turkish car market as of 2007. In Spain, Seat, Sociedad Española de Automóviles de Turismo was established with Fiat assistance in 1950, producing Fiat models under its own brand name until 1981, when Fiat withdrew its support. In 1982 Seat signed a cooperation agreement with a German manufacturer Volkswagen and by the end of 1986 after a purchase of a majority stake Seat had become part of the Volkswagen Group. However, production of some Fiat-based models continued, ending with the Fiat-based Marbella in 1998. The Fiat 131, known as the Holland Car Dock, following the Egyptian Revolution of 1952, President Gamal Abdel Nasser ordered the Egypt to establish a state-owned automobile company. Nasser was founded in 1960 in Hilwan, Egypt. It began producing some Fiat-based models, but later produced the Tofus Shaheen under license by Tofus. The last Fiat 128 model was built in 2008, while the Shaheen is in production in Egypt. Currently the El Mashri Company a part of the Saudi group is the main manufacturer of Alfa Romeo and Fiat vehicles for the Egypt market. The AV was also an Egypt manufacturer for Fiat. They assembled the Fiat Ritmo in order of Nasser. Fiat India Automobiles Private Limited is a joint venture between Fiat and Mumbai based Tata Motors, founded in 1997. Fiat builds the Payo style, Linea, and Punto. The Fiat plant is situated in Ranjangam near Pune in Maharashtra and also manufactures the Tata Indica. Although not a subsidiary of Fiat, Premier Automobiles of Mumbai was licensed to manufacture versions of the Fiat 500 for the Indian market. This was followed by the Fiat 1100 in 1954. In 1973, the Fiat label was replaced with the Premier name. Raja Motors are the authorized manufacturers of Fiat motor vehicles in Pakistan since 1948. The manufacturing started with Vespa scooters in 1948. The project was expanded in 2001 to facilitate assembly co manufacturing of the Fiat Uno. The production facility is located in Landhi Industrial Area, Karachi, Pakistan. In 1973, entrepreneur Apali Vijawardeen as Apali Motor Company began assembly of the local variant of Fiat 128. Known as UMC Fiat 128. Production ended with the introduction of the open market economy in 1978. The North Korean car manufacturer and dealer Pyonghua Motors assembles two Fiat models under license since 2002 Howie Perim based on the Fiat Sienna, Bbegi based on the Fiat Doblo. Fiat entered into a 50 50 joint venture with GAC Group in 2010 to create GAC Fiat Automobiles Company with a factory in Changsha completed in 2012 producing a localized version of the Dodge Dart sold as the Fiat Viaggio. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.